great division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. significant title in combat sports, no argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So these fighters are just a year apart with similar height and some differences in reach. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 171 pounds. Introducing the challenger, Silky. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, 4 losses, and 1 draw. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready? Right, let's fight. get this one started here. Round one is underway. And we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is. And this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Come on, man. Let's go. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the team. Oh. 
big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Missed with that right hand. Misses with the left hook. Just out of range with the big right hand. That was it, man. Nice. Right. Liver kick. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Hip over when he throws that kick. Beautiful. Just out of range with that right hook. Nice leg kick. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast paced opening round here. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back in range. Oh, straight right. Nice hook lands. Oh. Big head kick lands. Oh, massive kick. Everything behind him. Driving his shin into his opponent's thigh, beating his leg up. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, brutal knee to the body. Sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Superman punch lands! Swing and a miss by Choi. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Good punch. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Oh, nice jab by Choi. Well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. <laughs> Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. All right, so a huge round for him there, DC, particularly when it came to the head kicks. Take us through the replay. I mean, will. those head kicks were beautiful. He was finding a spot. He was wrapping it around his opponent's arms and landing those head kicks over and over and over. He did a good job of really, really setting his opponent up with his hands and then taking those opportunities that were presented to him. All right, here we go with our next round. A lot to be happy about in that previous round. He was attacking the head at will, and until his opponent adjusts, might as well go back to it. There was no negative to him head hunting. Most times the coaches yell, don't head hunt, don't head hunt. I'm yelling head hunt if right. I'm in his corner. Because every time he's thrown, he's landing. 
Ball lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. I mean, that right hand lands a square. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Choi. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. And able to avoid the punch there, nice slip by the Korean Super Bowl. Some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece. There's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook. That's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your... That's as good a punch as he's thrown on. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that lands perfect. And that one landed perfectly. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression. In man. Oh! Misses with that big right hand. Huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it for going into fight. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Nice one, two there. Choi's hook shot blocked. That one was telegraphed. Good job by the defense. Lands with the kick there. No pat on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. Got clipped with the right hand. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to oh, oh, oh. And now he's hurt. That's one of the shots. But if you take one of them, if you end the night, that one landed right on the spot. Yeah, he's got two. He's got to start checking kicks. Oh, man. That, you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Oh, you can hear the thwack from here as he lands another leg kick in DC. Now we're seeing visible damage as that leg starts to redden up. And now you start to see the damage. And now you start to see the limping of the opponent. Watch as he gets kicked in the leg, he's turning away. Oh, yeah. Checks the leg kick. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. More clinching. Nice. Ooh, head kick lands on Hurt. Throws a straight punch and lands, so that is increasingly becoming an effective weapon for him. This is one of his best strikes, and he's throwing it over and over again. All right, 
right, let's check out some of the action DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Just a slip there. Big punch land. Boom. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Oh! oh look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, he is up, but man, is he hurt. A finish could come here at any time. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that fit. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, that's going to soften him up. Massive knee to the body. He's giving him so many different wow. things. Right he's out. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So the celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 43 seconds of round number 3. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Alright, so heavyweight title retained is the headline inside this arena here tonight. Congratulations to the still heavyweight champ. Uh, once again proven.